everybody, how you doing? My name's Dave, and if you just got a bunch of apps for free, you can call me Davey Poo, the mobile music minstrel. How you doing? Hey, so, the Sugar Brights company approached me. They said, hey, we like your videos, and if you'd be willing to do some videos for us, we'd be willing to give you some apps. And I said, okay. So, look, let's be honest. Yes, they gave me some free apps to play with. Do I love all of them? No. Am I going to be honest? Absolutely. Uh, I'm not going to do tutorials, but I'm going to talk about how some of them work, different ways that you might use them, things that I like and dislike about them. So let's go on this Sugar Bites journey. Today we're going to talk about uh, Egoist, not Effectrix, Egoist. I get those two confused all the time. Egoist. So Egoist is a slicer. It is a drum machine. It is a baseline generator. Um, it has built-in effects. It does some cool things. Now, this kind of app normally isn't my style. I'm not really a sample slicing guy. I can do it, but I don't often do it. So I'm messing around with, with this to try to push my own boundaries and see what else I can do, but also sort of give you some non-traditional ideas for how to do things. So... I have set myself up an initialized patch here. I have set all of these slices, as you can see, from 1 through 16. Okay, I've set it so it'll just play 1 through 16. I've zeroed out everything here, so it's all, you know, the, there's nothing in the bass line, there's nothing in the beat, everything's playing, none of the effects are going, there's nothing, okay. I've got this completely zeroed out. I saved my own initialized patch so that we could start. Now, I'm going to load in a sample that I know. I've got the tempo set at 87 BPM right now because I have an 87 BPM sample. Breakbeat fave. Okay. So as you can see, it immediately mapped all of the beats to the various slices. So we've got nine slices here. So we're going to keep this kind of simple to start with. First thing I'm going to do is right here below the actual audio, uh, the visualized audio, and above the faders, there's this little thing. Okay, I'm going to make this an 8-bar loop. Since there's only 9 slices in this whole thing, we're only going to have it play through the first 8. So we get a nice, you know, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let me talk about how I approach something like this. Since I don't do this often, I usually look at this as like, well, how am I going to make a backbeat, like a funky backbeat out of whatever I've sliced? So the first thing I try to identify is what is each slice, right? Okay, so let's figure out where this snare drum hit is. Well, that's one. Here's two. Okay. And there's this another kick. Okay. So as I'm going through this, I'm hearing all of the different slices. So I'm going to do. Oop. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. So now I've got one, 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 two, three, one, 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 two, three, one, 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 right? So it's just playing that first kick drum sample over and over again and kind of beating in the face with it. So let's put a gap in there. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, so now look, I've got a beat. I put 16 in there. 16 has nothing, so it's playing silence. It's not great. It's a little bit choppy, but at least it gives us a beat. So let's slide and get some more subtle hits. Five doesn't really work there, does it? Dang, dang it, come on. No. Mm, that's all right. All right, I kind of like that. I kind of like that it hangs on that open hi-hat. Let's try one last thing. Dang it. 
keep grabbing the wrong part. Come on. There we go. Okay, so you can do all sorts of various combinations of these, okay, of these different slices, but you see you've got each individual slice. So what what you can also do is you can mess with the sensitivity here right underneath the, uh, the selector. There's the sensitivity. That's how sensitively it picks up the, the various um, amplitude spikes in the sample. Um, you know, you can mess with the pitch of the overall sample here next to that. You can mess with the length of each of the hits. All right. But I'm going to leave all of these global settings here up because I'm going to mess with the individual settings. Okay, so now you can use these little arrows here to flip around a sample. Ooh, that's it. Okay, you can make, uh, make, like, a gate on each individual slice. All right, now if you go all the way to the right-hand side, you can also like randomize this stuff. Okay. I'm gonna undo that, oops, sorry. I'm gonna undo that because, you know, I, I want something sort of consonant here. Um, okay, so now here's another thing that I'd like to do with these with these beat slicing programs, if I have the ability to. I like to add in an electronic drum kit on top of it to emphasize certain hits. Now, I'm going to turn off the slicer. I'm going to pick a kit that I like. Or actually, individual drums. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Right, let's put this back on. Okay, so that's kind of cool. All right, so that's a little bit of egoist. Now you can do a lot more with it. Um, you know, I could add in some of the effects. I could add in a bass line. I'm gonna kind of choose to go with that for right now because I wanted to use um, egoist to bolster other things. I, and I want to use it in conjunction with other apps. So I'm gonna set up I'm going to set up a Rosetta Collider. Okay, so what happens here is okay. So Collider, if you look at Collider, it sends these balls around, and when they run into the walls or run into each other, they make a tone. But it's controlled by the transport mechanism here. It doesn't run freely. So, um. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have that controlling Cyclops by 
Sugar Bites, because this is a Sugar Bite centric show. So, all right, I got to talk about Sugar Bite, or I got to talk about Cyclop here for a second. I love the look of Cyclops. I think this thing looks badass. I don't like the way it sounds. Mainly because it is designed to be really harsh and digital, and typically those aren't the kinds of sounds that I go for. So it's not that it sounds bad, it's just that I don't like it. Um, so there's the difference there. I think it sounds really good. The quality of this sound is good. It's just that really harsh digital grit and dirt and I don't always want that so let's see my keyboard coming in I'm gonna have my keyboard control this okay now I'm gonna have this do something in the key of D it's gonna be minor pentatonic and this is going to be controlling well that's actually really dope <laughs> that's probably the coolest thing I've ever gotten out of Cyclops So I've got my Behringer Model D here. So let's put something, some effects on, on Cyclops. In fact, let's use my old favorite, Tornado. Okay, Tornado I love. It took me a long time to, to fall in love with it. Again, here's another one that I love the look of it, but I didn't immediately get it. But now that with 8 Matrix, the glory of, uh, of this is very, very clear. All right, so I'm just gonna completely randomize this. Boom, hit the die up here and you can randomize everything. I'm gonna go to the dictator. I'm also gonna randomize the dictator a few times until I get something that looks kind of cool. That looks kind of good. Let's do this. All right, so now we're gonna use eight matrices uh, LFOs. And we're going to go to the dictator here. I'm going to set this going on a nice slow creep through that. And we're going to send Cyclop through Tornado. So much less impressive than I was thinking. There we go. Sometimes it takes a while, you know, when you're just hitting the random button. Not every random setting works. Or comes up with something interesting. Alright, so we got a little glitchy madness going on here. 
input the signal separately through FAC chorus. So now you've got a nice fat bass line and the, uh, the glitchiness. So now we're going to do something. We need to beef up the drums a bit. So let's get some FAC Maxima going on here. I'm going to throw Egoist through that. Slicing up the beat, okay, adding in some electronic drum, real simple, just to keep make it nice and fat. We got Cyclop, just the default sound on Cyclop, who knew? Alright. Through a little tornado with some random settings, making it glitch out. You know, we got a pretty mean beat going on, bolstered by some of the FAC apps and a little bit of RE1 on my uh, Behringer Model D. So that's it. That's all I got for you today. I got more Sugar Bites videos coming. Um, there's lots of things I like about the, the Sugar Bites apps and some things I don't, and we're going to hear more about that. So please like the video, subscribe to the channel, do all the youtube -y stuff, and I will see you guys next freaking time.